Hello and welcome to the Smith & Brown Accountants Excel Video Tutorials Episode 1 Introduction to Excel. Today we're going to cover the main uses of Excel, uh, go over a navigation through the program and have a look at the quick analysis tool available. Excel is used across the globe by businesses and individuals for many different reasons. It is a powerful tool for financial analysis, uh, for personal budgeting, but also if you want to create dashboards to present any data or analyze statistical information. Automating data is also a, a key feature of Excel, for example, invoice and purchase order automation, particularly within businesses. Excel is a powerful tool that if used properly can really enhance efficiency. So we will look at a navigation through Excel now. And the first thing to note is there can be several sheets within a workbook. You can see at the bottom here, we have different sheets where they are found. And to add a new sheet, you simply click on the cross there and it adds one in as you can see. So if we go back to the sheet labeled formatting, you can see that we have some information on this page that can be edited and manipulated using uh, the different options within Excel. These options can all be found somewhere within the ribbon at the top of the page. So if we go into the home ribbon to begin with, this is where we can find all general formatting options that are common within all Microsoft applications. General formatting such as font type, font size, font color, bold, italic and underline can be found in this section. We can also left align, center align text, merge text and merge cells and also set the format of that cell using this option here. There's also a conditional formatting option which is specific to Excel uh, which will be covered at a, uh, a later date. If we come into the insert ribbon you can see that this is where we can insert tables, insert pivot tables which is a more complex Excel function. We can insert shapes, pictures but also graphs and charts. The page layout ribbon is where we can set orientations and margins of our page, uh, define the size and print area, and also set the width and height of the page. The formulas ribbon is more for intensive functions, including setting name ranges and where we can find uh, dependence. The formulas ribbon is where we can uh, define name ranges, trace dependence and precedence, and other complex formula. The formulas ribbon is where we can insert functions and define name ranges, and which is more complex formulation. The data ribbon is where we can filter data, um, add data validation and manipulate data in any other ways, for example, text to columns and removing duplicates. The review ribbon, uh, main uses on here is where we can protect our sheet. So using this protect sheet option or protect workbook, we can set passwords um, to protect our data. The view ribbon is where we can set how we actually view the page there and then. We can zoom, we can hide grid lines, hide headings, hide the formula bar, all of these options here just at the, within this ribbon. And then other, other parts of the ribbon, for example, the developer or any, any extras that you add on that are possible um, for more complex Excel work, which, which will be covered in the uh, future, future videos. At the bottom of the page, we can see there are three options here, which are very similar to the um, the view ribbon at the top which are our page layouts so we can just quickly select those and it takes us to how our page can be laid out also down here is where we will find the quick analysis tool so the uses of this tool are if you were to highlight certain information so if I highlight those two cells there we are always presented with an average count and sum for the highlighted information so we can see the average of these two figures is 30 there are two figures there, so the count is two, and the sum of those two is 60. If we drag that down, we can see that the average count and sum changes dynamically with our selection. 
So that concludes episode one of the Smith & Brown Accountants tutorial. We hope to see you again next time.